Hi everyone, Dan from On One here. I want to show you the new local adjustments in Photo Raw 2019. Now, local adjustments are new to Photo Raw, but we've made some really big improvements in 2019. It used to be that local adjustments were kind of the last thing in the image processing pipeline, which meant they were limited by the data that sat underneath them. Now, in 2019, they actually sit much lower. They have the full raw data to work with, gives you a much greater latitude for things like exposure and highlights and shadow recovery. Let me show you what you can do with them. So here I've opened up a photo into the develop tab of the edit module. And this is a pretty typical thing that happens. You can either expose for the shadows or expose for the highlights. In this case, I could have shot multiple exposures and created an HDR, but I can get a really great look from this single photo. So watch. I just want to bring my exposure up to brighten the foreground. So I'm going to bring this up a bit so that I get kind of the correct exposure for the waves and the water in the foreground. You notice that when I do that, I lose all that information in the sky. This is a big adjustment. This is almost two f-stops of an exposure adjustment. While I'm here, I'm just going to check out my blacks and make sure I've got just a little bit of real black so I have some nice contrast in the bottom half of the photo. Now, I can use the new powerful local adjustments to bring the sky back. Watch. I'm just going to click on the local adjustment tab. It's automatically added a new local adjustment for me. By default, it's set it to one stop under. That's just a good place to start. So if you start to paint or you use one of the gradient mask tool, you'll see the results right away. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more, let's say about two. I'm going to grab the gradient mask tool and I'm just going to click right here in the sky. There we go. You can see by adding that gradient mask and bringing the exposure back down, I was able to bring back all the original detail in the sky. All those highlights from the original photo are still there. It's a much more powerful way to make those localized adjustments. While I'm here, let's harmonize the photo a little bit more. I want to add a little bit more warmth to my foreground. So I'm just going to go back to the Develop tab. Let's adjust our color temperature so that I can get a little bit more of those warm colors. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and a little bit of magenta in there. Watching the shadows to make sure I'm not adding too much of a color cast to the shadows, just to bring a little bit more of that same color from the sky into my foreground like that. While I'm here, let's grab the shadow slider. I'm going to open that up just a little bit to open up those shadows. And I take my highlights, and I'm actually going to bring those up a little bit just to clean up those whites and make it nice and bright. Let's jump back to the local adjustment and see if there's any changes we want to make in there. You know, I could probably bring that exposure down even more. I'll bring my highlights down a bit, and let's really enhance the color in that sky. There we go. That's looking great. Let's finish it off by going to Effects, and I'll just add a simple vignette. I'll use our big softy option right there. I'm going to use the new priority mode. This will look a little bit more naturally photographic. And there's a new highlight slider in here that I can use to bring back a little bit more of the highlight details in my vignette. There we go. I hit the tab key so we can see the whole photo. And now I can toggle my preview on and off with a slash key. So there's our original before photo. And there's after, simply using the develop tab and a little bit of the new local adjustments in Photo Raw 2019. Thanks for watching.